Hey, welcome back to another great episode of Mind Protein TV. I'm Ralph Plum. And I'm Conrad Spielenko. In this episode, we're gonna start out talking about the four types of tweets that are gonna generate the most clicks, because after all, clicks are what are important on your Twitter account. Actually, in our uh, second section, instead of lights on, lights off, Today we're actually going to address the question that we got from one of the viewers. Thank you very much for questions. Keep them coming and uh, we'll, we'll make sure to uh, put them in the show. Yeah, in the last segment we're going to talk about why social media and having a consistent campaign is important, but everyone always tells us, Conrad, there's not enough time. Well, we're going to show you some really cool tools and we're going to show you a really cool piece of technology we have and incorporate it into this last segment. It's going to be really cool stuff. Stay tuned. Viral Marketing. Business domination. Explode your profits. MyProtein.tv. All right, in our first segment, we're going to talk about the four types of tweets that are going to generate the most traffic on your Twitter account. First up, coupon codes. Coupon codes drive a ton of traffic. Now, Depending on if you're a true affiliate marketer or if you're just trying to market for your business or your product or service, it depends on what coupon codes you're going to be sending out, but definitely, definitely make sure you incorporate coupons or coupon codes into your Twitter strategy. Yeah, the second one uh, that, that I like is, is blogs. You know, you're going to be posting blogs to your website. You want to make sure you send them out, syndicate them out to your social networks. And that's a great way for people to actually engage with you and, and start capturing their attention. Uh, if you're not writing blogs or you don't have them as part of your website, get it done. You know, basically what you, have, you can do is you outline the topics and have somebody help you write the blog so they get done uh, consistently. Without a doubt. Third, we have new products. And in our space, it has a lot to do with launches. So make sure when you're talking about products or new products, you are sure to tell the audience that it's something new. Launches are really key in our business. They drive a ton of revenue to a lot of different information and internet marketers out there. So make sure that you point out anytime that you're putting a product or service or promoting something that it's new and it's something different. It's all about building up excitement right? That's and creating it. excitement. That's what people like. And the final one, and uh, actually my favorite, is you know, funny quotes, anecdotes, videos are great. Right, and and so that's a great way to engage your, uh, well, your viewers, and just you know that's a way for it for you to capture attention and then start them getting interested. In what's behind? Who's behind? You know, sending out those uh, you know funny quotes or whatnot. There's no doubt about it. If you look at YouTube, some of the most widely viewed videos on YouTube, they're stupid, funny videos. There's no. I was looking at YouTube the other day. I saw a video with 187 million views and it was some stupid little comedy thing. So it's a good idea to share those sometimes. Interject a little humor will help you connect with your audience. My Protein.tv. All right, welcome back. In our next section, we're actually going to answer the, the uh, question we got from one of the viewers of the show. Again, thanks a lot for submitting the question. Uh, basically, the question is very simple. What uh, email provider or email software do we use to actually uh, communicate with, uh, with our following? And the answer is Infusionsoft, right? Uh, there's a couple of reasons why we've chosen Infusionsoft. Uh, number one, it's an integrated system. What I like best about the fact that about Infusion is that it has a shopping cart included in it. it you know, you can do email marketing. Uh, you can do some of the sales, uh, sales follow up as well. So all of these components are integrated together, which makes it very easy. Uh, instead of having multiple platforms and trying to gel them together. Yeah, and, and one thing that's important, Conrad, and people ask us, at what phase of my business or size of my business do I need to move to a different email platform? And the one great thing about Infusionsoft is it's allowed us, from we started out five, six years ago in the information products business and we were really small and just sending out a few emails a month, we used Infusionsoft. And now we're generating over $10 million a year in revenue from information product sales. What are we using? Infusionsoft. So it allowed us to scale from we were starting out very, very small to where we are now, we're still using the exact same software. Now, we're using a lot more of its capabilities and characteristics and a lot more of the, uh, the affiliate modules, et cetera. However, we're still using the same base platform. Yeah, you mentioned affiliate module. I, I like affiliate module because in, in our model, we engage with a lot of JVs to promote and co-promote our products. You know, you talk about launching products, etc. cetera. Uh, and Infusionsoft actually has an affiliate module to it. The other thing that I like about it is the API connectivity, right? So whenever you're looking at you know any database, you wanna make sure that there's an API so you can uh, interact with other platforms, you know, whether it's social media, et cetera, you 
want to make sure that there is ability of, of interacting um, on, on that level. And you know, like Ralph said, everything that we're teaching you here and what we're using it for, we use it in our primary info marketing business that focuses on real estate, which is fortune builders. Everything that you see on Mind Protein is actually things that we apply in our business on daily basis and we bring it to you so you can more effectively run your business. And Fusionsoft is the choice uh, for us in terms of uh, the actual platform that we use for email marketing, but really way beyond. So you should definitely check it out. Get off your ass. Hey, welcome back. In our Get Off Your Ass segment, we're going to be talking about different social media tools that we use to save a ton of time. We have a lot of complaints and a lot of questions from our, our students that talk all the time about how they don't have enough time to actively engage themselves in their social media accounts. Yeah, this is a really cool tool to actually make it part of your uh, make it part of your day so you don't spend too much time and the key in you know using social media and and Ralph would agree with me on that is, is is planning also you know there's a part of it where you have to just plan what are you going to be doing on your social media on a weekly basis right and then there are certain tools that will make it very easy for you to make it part of your business which we're going to show you right now we actually we needed to find an excuse to use it. this awesome tool we have in our office which is a smart board uh, so you're going to check it out yeah right so now. so here we are we're in front of the smart board, which is essentially a really nice piece of technology where we can pull up any web page, we can utilize our computer, touch, circle things, really cool stuff. But really what we want to show you is this is my Hootsuite account. So there's Hootsuite. I know Conrad, you use TweetDeck a little bit as well. It doesn't really matter which one you use. The important thing is that you do use at least one of them. So what I have here is I have my own Twitter account. I have my Mind Protein Twitter account, Mind Protein Facebook, my personal Facebook, my LinkedIn account, and a various another Facebook pages account that I have. And what I'm able to do directly from here is I can send out a message, I can type a message, select which accounts I want to send the message to, and I can automatically syndicate it to all those social media accounts right from here. Now what's even better is I can also schedule it. So let's say I don't want to send it out right now. I want to send it out over the weekend or on Monday. What I can do is I can pick the date and the time at which I want to schedule that tweet. Really, really cool stuff. Um, Conrad, do you have anything to point out about Hootsuite that you'd like to talk about? You know, that, that scheduling tool is great because then you can set it up really as a project on a weekly basis and dedicate, let's say, half hour, an hour, figuring out what it is that you're going to be sending out to your social media and then you can integrate kind of a real time stuff that you want to you know put out there as you come across it. One other really cool tool outside of Hootsuite or TweetDeck, TweetDeck the dashboard themselves is a plugin that I recently started using for Firefox, which is the web browser I use. Because how many times do you encounter something on the internet, a blog post, a news story that's really cool, but you might be in the middle of some sort of project or research that you're working on, and you don't want to go to your social media accounts or even your, your syndication dashboard to send out a tweet or a Facebook share or something to that effect. So let's pull up our YouTube Mind Pro. Whoa, hey, there's a great website right here, Mind Protein YouTube account. Awesome. So I don't want to go back to my YouTube or my uh, my syndication or my social media page. So what do I do? I have a little Hootsuite. It's a Hootsuite toolbar add-on for my Firefox. So what I can do is I have my YouTube, my protein channel. I'm going to syndicate it to my Twitter accounts and to one of my uh, Facebook pros, posts, uh, Facebook pages, I'm sorry. And all I have to do, send now, done. Automatically syndicated this website out in this link out to all my social media profiles with three clicks of a button. Yeah, that's really cool, and that's what we're talking about. There's you know types of activities in your social media you can plan ahead, and then things that you come across really quickly. And I really like that toolbar. So you know, just look for a Hootsuite toolbar for Firefox. Yeah, right? if you use Firefox, just just Google Hootsuite uh, plugin or Hootsuite plugin for Firefox and it'll come up, you just download it, all you have to do is restart Firefox really quickly and it'll show up right there and all you have to do is you click on it and it automatically pops up once you have your Hootsuite account. Now, in order to use that, you have to have a Hootsuite account. So that's a, that's a nice caveat. You need to make sure that you set up your Hootsuite account prior to setting up that toolbar or it won't work. My 13.tv